An Indonesian court has jailed two football officials for negligence over one of the worst stadium disasters in the country's history. The stampede in East Java in October last year killed 135 people after police fired tear gas into packed stands when supporters invaded the pitch. Abdul Haris, a match organizer, was found guilty of negligence and handed 18 months in prison. The judges also found security official Suko Sutrisno guilty of negligence and sentenced him to one year in prison. The sentences were the first to be handed down by Indonesia's courts over a tragedy that shocked the nation and sparked widespread anger. Relatives and campaigners criticized the length of the sentences and said more police officers should be in the dock. Three local police officers have also been charged over the incident and they are awaiting verdicts. The former director of the company that runs Indonesia's Premier League has also been named as a suspect and he remains under investigation. Devastating scenes unfolded at the overcrowded stadium in Malang in East Java on October the 1st last year. This after Arima FC supporters ran onto the pitch following their loss to rival Persebaya Surabaya. Some clashed with police prompting security forces to fire tear gas into enclosed areas of the stadium. A crowd control measure banned by World Soccer's governing body FIFA. Panic spectators attempted to flee and that caused a stampede at the exit gate of the stadium with several trampled and many choked to death.